Most fitness advice out there will tell you to work out three or four days a week for the optimal amount for your health and your gains. But to many of us, this is a lot. And maybe not a lot because of the time constraints, but imagine after a long day of hard work, you have to change and you have to go work out your body instead of just chilling or spending the time with your family and friends. Luckily, science has some good news for us busy people. Maybe after all, working out just in the weekends is enough to be fit and healthy. In this video, I wanna explore if it's possible to only work out in the weekends. Is it enough? Can you build muscles in just two days? Can you be stronger in just two days? All these questions, fortunately, can be answered by science. First, let's get clear on some things. If you're planning to be competitive in any sport, working out in the weekends is not gonna be enough. You need a lot more than just two days. But if you're interested in being fit and healthy, maybe there's a way. I will share a free program at the end of this video. In this observational paper published in 2024 in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey that included 9,629 participants, categorized participants as inactive, weekend warrior, or regularly active. This is based on if they did the recommended 75 minutes of rigorous exercise or 150 minutes moderate exercise per week. If the participants did less, then they are considered inactive. And they found out that there are no significant differences in abdominal fat, waist circumference, and whole body fat between the weekend warrior and regularly active people. Now, this study was more focused on aerobic exercises, not building muscles, but it is still a great indicator that maybe you don't really need to be working out every free moment you have during the week. Working out on the weekends, given that the session durations are equal, you will get the same health benefits as spreading out your sessions during the week. But what about building muscles? In a 2019 meta-analysis by Schoenfeld and colleagues, they showed that high-frequency training led to greater muscle growth than lower-frequency training. But these were studies that did not match training volume between groups. And when the volume matched, the results were similar, meaning you can squeeze your weekly training volume in two days. So is it going to take more time? Yes. And is it going to be hard? Absolutely yes, but you will save a lot of time and you will have the same gains. And it's a similar story if you're interested in getting stronger in this 2018 meta-analysis by Kirk and colleagues showing that yes, strength training increased with increased frequency, but again, if the volume is matched, there is no difference at all. But what about recovery? Wouldn't working out two days in a row harm my gains? And the answer seems to be no. In a 2018 study by Yang and colleagues, they put participants on a 12-week program, one group trained three days in a row, and one was more spread out over the week, showing that there was no difference in strength gains or lean mass gains. So what is the action plan here? I see three possible ways you can do this. One, train upper body on Saturday and lower body on Sunday. That would be my preferred way as they won't really influence each other. Two, do two full body workouts. This might be tricky because you don't want to tax your joints and central nervous system too much so you can have enough energy for the next day. So here is a two day full body workout program you can use. This focuses on training different portions of the muscles so they don't get fatigued for the next day. For example, doing incline bench press on one day and flat on the other day. Of course, there are overlaps, but it's not as severe as doing two days incline or two days flat. Three, you can create a bro split. So for example, on Saturday, you do quads, calves, triceps, chest, and shoulder. And then on Sunday, you do hamstrings, glutes, biceps, and back. You can download a free program in the description box below. These programs are a template for you to start, and it's not meant for you to just keep doing them as it is. The volumes in these programs are the minimum volume required to build muscles on average, but this might be more for you or could be less. So experiment with it and adjust every week. If you find yourself recovered by Monday, then you need to increase the sets by one or two sets for the next week. If you find yourself not recovered at all, then the volume is too much and you need to decrease it by one or two sets. One important thing here is food. You really need to take care of your pre and peri-workout nutrition. These sessions will be long and if you don't eat enough carbs to fuel these workouts, you won't really make it till the end with high quality. Quality here is especially important because it's only two workouts a week. I would recommend eating at least two meals before hitting the gym and maybe take some fast digested carbs with you to the gym in between sessions, like dates or any carb drink. And if you want to know exactly how much volume you need to build muscles or build strengths, watch this video right here. See you there.